Annyeonghaseyo! Hi everyone, this is Ariel, one half of Soju for Two, and I wanted to make a video for you, update you on my weekend and what I'm going to do this week, so it's very exciting. Uh, so this week I went down to Jinju um, on Saturday morning. We went down, Jinju is in the far south, um, very close to Busan, um, and it's about a four hour, including rest stops, uh, trip down there. Most of that time I spent either sleeping or watching dramas. You know, that's how I like to do. And so we went down, and the first thing we did when we got there was we went to a scenic lookout point. Um, it's beautiful over this big river, maybe lake. I don't know what it was, but it was gorgeous. And I'll show you a picture of all of us. <laughs> and I'm going to make a video, post it, like a trip video. But it was really, really beautiful there. And while we were there, there was also a zoo. So you can see the ticket. It was one thousand won which is one dollar to go to the zoo. The zoo was kind of sad. I don't think the animals had enough space and I mean the zoo was really cheap so that's probably why. I'm gonna post pictures of the animals at the zoo but it wasn't my favorite zoo I've ever been to because I felt like they were really being, I don't know, it didn't feel like enough space for them. But there was a really cute bear that stood up so I'll show you that in the, in the video so check that out. And then we went to Jinju the city for the Lantern Festival. So the Lantern Festival happens once a year and the lanterns come from all over the world, or they're inspired by different things. So there's lanterns, you know, Disney characters, there's Transformers and Spider-Man, but then there's also traditional things, and there's mythology, uh, both Korean and, like, Greek mythology, so a little bit of everything. It's just really, really beautiful. So definitely check out my video. But while we were there, some funny things happened. So we get to, we, we took, like, a group, basically the past two weekends we've been going with tour groups that is, like, a hiking group in Seoul and um, you know, we didn't do a lot of hiking in Andong but in this one we did a little bit more and what's cool about it is we really don't have to plan anything and for about 80,000 uh, won which is like eighty dollars we have don't have to worry about where we're staying and like one of our meals and they plan what we're supposed to do when we're there so it's nice but what's funny about it is it was packed the city it's a small city and because of the festival so we ended up staying in a love motel. Um, if you watch Korean dramas, you know what that means. Um, basically, it's yeah, just hotels where people go. It's they just call them love motels. As you know, in America, we don't really make a distinguish between the two, but in Korea, they do. So you can see my friends here. They'll probably be totally embarrassed that I put this picture up here. But we, our bed was a round shaped bed. Four girls round shaped bed. Hilarious. So I love them. They're too cute. My friend who went with uh, Tina Hu, I'll put her link down here, has a YouTube channel. Check her out. Uh, and then we went to the actual Lantern Festival. So from our hotel, it was about a two to five minute walk. Not bad. Uh, the Lantern Festival is really cool. Um, I said the lanterns from all over the world. And there's some like, special things. There's like a lover's lane, which has, and I'll put pictures up, which has lots of mating insects and animals, which is funny, out of lanterns. Um, so it's just really cute and quirky, and you'll see things like that all the time in Korea. Um, also, you know, sort of at the end of the night, we went on a boat cruise, which is awesome, because the boat cruise goes through the water and through the lanterns that are in the water, which is amazing. So here's a picture of all of us. You can see we have, um, like, bow ears on. We love them. They made us really happy, and they glow in the dark, which is actually really useful, because there's, like, a million people there, and you just follow the, like, line of, like, light up bows. I love that. Um, and then the next day, so then we went home and we like, put on face masks. We're really girly. And the next day we went to uh, Sa, which is a temple, sort of about two hours up from uh, Jinju, closer to Seoul. And we, it was really cool because what we did was we went to the temple like right off the bat. We went and sort of did a little bit of scenic lookout, went to the temple. And the temple is one of the top three temples in Korea. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is awesome, because they have a wooden um, sort of tablet that was one of the first recorded, um, first records of Buddhism in Korea. And so it's really very important spiritually as well as historically. Uh, so it's, it's an awesome place to visit. It's a little touristy, but it's really cool. While we were there, I went to a restaurant, and um, we got really cheap. It was like 8 thousand won, just like eight dollars for a ton of food, a huge amount of side dishes. I'll put a picture in the video. Definitely check it out. Um, it was just amazing and really delicious food uh, really there. And then after we ate a ton of food, we went hiking. And it wasn't like a, you know, a tough hike, but it was a little bit tough because we'd just eaten so much. But the weather was really perfect, so it was nice. Um, it was about a five-kilometer hike 
which I think is like three and a half miles. Sorry guys, I think in miles. Um, so I'm not really sure the conversion there, but it wasn't it wasn't bad at all. It's a little like rocky, so I would say like but all the older people, like the Ajuma and Ajushis, were like they were doing it. They're totally into it. But there's a couple parts that's a little bit tricky, but and I didn't have on like hiking shoes or anything practical. So you could totally do it if you're a hiker. It's an awesome place to see and it's beautiful. You'll see all my pictures. It's amazing. There's 16 spots. They're like scenic tours, but honestly the whole thing is like scenic, so if you just want to get great pictures of nature, and right now the leaves are changing colors, so it's super, super beautiful. So that was my weekend trip. It was amazing, super awesome. I had a lot of fun. Um, the trip back home, it took a lot, a long, a long time. There was traffic, but there's always traffic coming into the big city, so what are you going to do? Uh, I just watched some more dramas. Oh, the only problem is that my cell phone battery dies all the time. So here's the problem with having such a wonderful phone. It has so many features that the battery dies. So there's different ways you can turn off apps and turn down the brightness, put on power saving mode. But still, if you watch dramas for four hours straight, it's going to die. So here, they give you an extra battery with that you can charge up um, when you buy your phone. And I'm thinking I might go get a third battery because I make videos on my phone and I watch videos while I'm you know, commuting. So I think I might need a third battery. So I'll tell you guys about that. Um, anyone living in Seoul has an extra battery, want to give it to me? I have a Samsung. That would be awesome. Tell me down here if you have one. So then I got home today and I went to uh, Misha and the face shop. Basically, I had to go to the face shop because I needed to get another one of my face washes. So this is my favorite face wash from the face shop. It's Olive Phyto Powder uh, Cleansing Foam. This is amazing. I swear by it. I've, this is my third bottle that I've gone through in like, I don't know, maybe three months, three or four months. And um, it's the same... Um, formula as the one back home so it's different packaging so it's definitely wonderful and I recommend this it's just it makes my face feel so clean and fresh and it's just like a face wash but I really swear by this so I recommend it olive phyto powder in cleansing foam so get this guys um, so I went to get that but then I also got a couple things at Misha so I told you guys I'm going to do a nail tutorial for you on how to do the gradation so I bought the sponge let's see if you can see this so nail gradation sponge, and if you see here, this is the applicator, and this is the sponge, and what you'll do, and I'll make the tutorial video for you, you just put the nail polish on the sponge, and then dab it on your on your nail. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I bought two colors to do it. This one is a gold sparkle. That's going to be my, as you can see on my purple nail, that's going to be the, the gradation color, and this is going to be the tip color. It's a peach. And today they were running a special, if I spent five uh, 1000 won, $5, I could get a bunch of samples, so this was like a $1.50, um, you know, 1000 won, and these were $2 each, so I, I easily spent the $5, and then I got a ton of samples, I got some BB creams, um, so this is what I love about Korea, you just get so much stuff, and these are great, because you, know, you think you don't use them all the time, but like when I go on trips and the weekend and stuff, I take these with me all the time, so I love them, so that's amazing, and then I also for free got, um, it's a foot wrap. So basically, like you know how we love to do face masks? So this is um, a sort of foot mask. It has two in the package. You just like separate them. I've used different versions of these. I've never used this brand before, but I'm sure it'll be good. It actually might be really nice because my feet are kind of like a little bit sore from yesterday, so this might be a good way to treat myself. So I'm definitely going to use that. So basically that was my weekend, guys. Um, this week is going to be really busy. I'll try to make a few videos for you, but we're going shopping for Halloween costumes. Um, we're going to, I'm going to see like my co-teachers. We're going to go out to dinner one night this week. I'm going to have dinner with a few of my friends. And then this weekend, um, we're probably going to keep it to like just going clubbing and going to Nami Island, which is about an hour from Seoul. It's still like considered Seoul, but it's just if you take a subway, it takes about an hour to get there, and so we're going to do that this weekend, so I'll make a video for you, and I'll keep you guys updated, but I definitely want to get this tutorial video up, but right my nail, my nails are still perfect, so until this comes off, I'm not going to do a new one, but this is amazing, I love it, so I will have that video up for you as soon as possible, bye guys!